Welcome to our YouTube channel dedicated to exploring the latest insights and opportunities in the world of finance and investments with a special focus on currency revaluation, gold and silver investments, cryptocurrency and make money online opportunities and more. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest developments in currency revaluation, particularly the Iraq dinar and other currencies, best to subscribe to this channel. Please note that the content on this YouTube channel is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. We are not licensed financial advisors and the opinions expressed on this channel are based on our own research and personal experience. We strongly recommend that you do your own research and consult with a licensed financial advisor. We are not responsible for any losses that may occur as a result of your investment decisions based on the information provided on this channel. Also, just before we go any further, this channel has a weekly giveaway of 100 Dogecoin. To enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, like this video, and watch this video till the end as we will be sharing a random hashtag keyword daily. And then comment hashtag the keyword with no spaces in between in the comment section. Good luck. Now, let's continue with this news of Iraq dinar today, so stick till the end of this video. Today, we're discussing a major development, the cooperation agreement between the Trade Bank of Iraq and Germany's Export Credit Agency. This partnership aims to finance development projects in Iraq and could have significant implications for the country's economic future and the value of the Iraqi dinar. Let's dive into this important topic and understand its potential impact on Iraq's path to economic reform and currency revaluation. First, let's read what's on the article. And we apologize if the Google translation to English isn't clear. Stick till the end of this video and we will dissect the article and break it down. The title of this article is Iraq's TBI, Germany's ECA Sign Agreement to Finance Development Projects. The Iraqi Prime Minister, Mohammed Shia al Sudani, sponsored on Wednesday a cooperation agreement between the Trade Bank of Iraq and Germany's Export Credit Agency to finance private sector development projects in Iraq. The TBI also signed a 110 million euro agreement with Germany's Commerzbank, an ACA bank to finance the construction of a plate glass factory in Najaf Governorate. During a ceremony held to sign the agreements, Al Sudani stated that the Iraqi government has taken measures to support the industrial sector, including the provision of lands for the construction of projects, as well as the necessary fuel for operation, according to a statement released by the Prime Minister's office. The Iraqi Prime Minister emphasized that steps had been taken by the government to enhance the business climate, increase electronic payment and collection, enhance tax accounting practices, and automate customs operations. Al Sudani indicated that the government is also working on overcoming difficulties and challenges facing Iraq's industrial sector since it is a vital engine of the economy and contributes to the reduction of unemployment by creating jobs. That's it for this article today, and let's summarize in a simpler manner. The article from Iraqi News reports that the Trade Bank of Iraq has signed a cooperation agreement with Germany's export credit agency to finance various development projects in Iraq. This agreement is aimed at supporting the private sector and enhancing economic growth by providing financial backing for infrastructure and other critical development projects. The partnership is seen as a strategic move to boost Iraq's economic stability and growth. The agreement with Germany's ECA will enable TBI to secure necessary funding for large-scale projects that are crucial for Iraq's development. These projects are expected to create jobs, improve infrastructure, and stimulate economic activities in the private sector. By facilitating such projects, the cooperation between TBI and ECA aims to enhance Iraq's overall economic environment and attract further investments. This agreement 
is significant for Iraq for several reasons. First, it represents a major step in strengthening the country's financial infrastructure by partnering with a reputable international credit agency, Iraq can ensure that it has access to the necessary funds to support its development goals. This financial support is crucial for implementing large-scale projects that can drive economic growth and development. For the private sector, this agreement is particularly important. The private sector in Iraq has long been underdeveloped, largely due to a lack of investment and financial resources. With the support of TBI and ECA, private businesses in Iraq will have better access to financing, enabling them to expand and contribute more significantly to the economy. A thriving private sector is essential for diversifying Iraq's economy and reducing its reliance on oil revenues. The development of the private sector is key to igniting growth in Iraq's non-oil sectors. By providing the necessary financial support, this agreement can help stimulate growth in areas such as manufacturing, agriculture, and services. As these sectors grow, they will create jobs and generate income, leading to a more balanced and resilient economy. This diversification is crucial for Iraq's long-term economic stability and sustainability. A stronger and more diverse economy will have a positive impact on the Iraqi dinar as the private sector grows and the economy becomes less reliant on oil. The dinar will gain value. This increased value will reflect the true economic potential of Iraq, making the currency more attractive to investors and the international community. The growth of the non-oil sectors will also help stabilize the dinar, making it more resilient to fluctuations in oil prices. This cooperation agreement between TBI and Germany's ECA is also a clear indication that Iraq is taking significant steps towards economic reform by focusing on development projects and supporting the private sector. Iraq is laying the groundwork for a stronger and more stable economy. These efforts are essential for the revaluation or reinstatement of the Iraqi dinar. A stable and growing economy is a critical factor for any successful currency revaluation. In conclusion, the cooperation agreement between the Trade Bank of Iraq and Germany's export credit agency is a major development for Iraq's economic and monetary reform by financing development projects and supporting the private sector. This partnership aims to stimulate economic growth and diversification. This growth is crucial for enhancing the value of the Iraqi dinar and setting the stage for a revaluation. Stay tuned for more updates and in-depth analysis on Iraq's economic reforms. What are your thoughts on this article today? Please don't forget to watch the latest updates video from all the gurus and intel providers. Also, it is important to watch our breaking news article videos to really see where we are at with the revaluation or reinstatement of the dinar. Before ending this video, the hashtag for the 100 Dogecoin giveaway is unemployment, and you can be the lucky winner. The winner will be announced this Sunday and will be in one of the Sunday's videos. Stay tuned and good luck. Please drop a comment below. Let us know what you think and don't forget to add hashtag and the keyword for today. If you like this content and like to support this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when new videos are uploaded. See you on the next video.